Mickey and Minnie's versus Mario Kart. Which one are you most excited for? Which one do you think will be the more anticipated attraction? This video is all about you. So get ready and get ready to interact and get ready to vote down below. Because I'm very curious. Let's get started. Mickey and Minnie's and Mario Kart both open in early 2023. Mickey and Minnie's opens up on January 27th with the Disneyland 100th er, Disney Company 100th anniversary. Mario Kart is rumored to soft open in January, but will definitely open in early 2023. No exact timeline yet. I did a couple of polls, one here on YouTube, which you may have voted on, on and one on my Twitter. You can follow me at theme underscore wizard on Twitter to get polls and get my tweets for that. And both polls, Mario Kart won. Mario Kart obviously won a lot here because a lot of you guys subscribe most likely from the Universal video, so it crushed by like 89%, 89% to 11%, over 210 votes. Thank you so much for voting. And on Twitter, it's more even. I think Mickey and Minnie's got like 39% versus like 61 or something for Mario Kart. So in that, got got 100, over 100 votes. So it seems pretty clear that people are more excited or definitely at least very excited for Mario Kart to come stateside. Both attractions already have existing attractions. So they're, mostly, they're basically, or they are clones of existing attractions. And anyone voting can go on YouTube and see a POV of each attraction right now. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is out in Florida, Disney's Hollywood Studios. Our version will be slightly larger, have a couple extra show scenes and a different um, queue. And Mario Kart is currently available at the Super Nintendo World in Japan. That will be the exact, nearly the exact same version of the attraction as it will be in Japan, our, our Hollywood, ver Hollywood version. And a lot of them, a lot of people have complaints and criticisms with both attractions and things they love about both. So let's get into it, and then you can make your vote and decision in the comments below. Starting with Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So the complaint out in Florida was that it took away a fantastic classic attraction, the Great Movie Ride. Which it did. I still think it should have been built in the parking lot adjoining the park because the park is pretty small and could use an expansion of attractions rather than, you know, eliminating or replacing attractions. Almost like what Universal Hollywood's situation is in. But other than that, the attraction actually is pretty good. It has a pretty good reception, it's mo a lot of screens, but a lot of physical sets as well. And has a catchy tune that's made for literally anyone. I don't think it even has restraints. If it does, it's just a lap bar. Any person of any size, any age can go in it. Grandmas can go in it. Babies can go in it. It has no height requir requirement, which is fantastic. And something, honestly, Universal should employ with a lot of their rides. <clears throat> Secret Life of Pets. And Yoshi. I don't know if you... I think Yoshi does have a height requirement, but I think it's smaller than Secret Life of Pets. Even though it's the same type of ride system. But, yeah, Universal definitely should lean on that. But, overall, it seems a really great attraction, and I'm very, very excited for it, especially our Disneyland version, which is coming with an enhanced Toontown. The enhanced Toontown will open later on in spring 2023, where our attraction, again, opens on January 27th, the start of our Walt Disney 100 celebration. It'll be larger by slightly in a purpose-built, from-the-ground-up building, and... The queue will be immersive as well and completely different than the Chinese theater queue out in Florida. So I'm very excited about that. Mario Kart, on the other hand, has a bit more of a complaint of in the complaints department. But let's start with the positives. Mario Kart is in a fantastic, super immersive land, Super Nintendo World, which is in and by itself so great. It has... Lots of animatronics, meet and feeds, mini games, a whole bunch of stuff there. If you want to see the progress on Super Nintendo World in Orlando and here in Hollywood, definitely subscribe to the channel because I do updates at least twice a week for Hollywood's version. And occasionally when Bio Reconstruct posts some aerial, aerial photos, I do some Super Nintendo World updates from Epic Universe as well, as well as a park update there. But yeah, if you're really interested in Hollywood's version, which is opening in just a few months, 
Subscribe to the channel because I usually Wednesday or Saturday, Wednesday and Saturday, around that time, midweek and the weekend, I will post an update and uh, yeah, right up to, up to the point on that one. So, the land is great, but is the ride great? Well, one thing I don't like about the ride is anything with 3D glasses or AR goggles. This particular attraction uses AR goggles, but they use it because that's what you use to fight or try to beat Bowser and his team in the race. So contrary to what I thought and maybe even what you guys may think if you still don't know about the attraction, you're not racing against your friends. You will be in parallel. There'll be two tracks and you'll be quote, quote unquote racing against the other vehicle next to you, but both of you are really on the same team as you'll be racing Bowser's team, which you'll be seeing through the AR goggles. And the AR goggles will also be used to, you know, throw the bananas and, you know, get the power-ups to, you know, slow the cars down, but they'll also be slowing you down, which is pretty exciting as well. Now, I've only ever seen this video, or this ride through a POV video, of course, so I can't fully judge it. Especially because the air, the video will make the air goggles look very cheap and terrible. But if you look at the video, the POV without the air goggles, it looks fantastic. The sets are incredible. The animatronics are amazing. I got sent some video of our attraction here in Hollywood. Someone's walking through uh, the attraction. Looks absolutely fantastic. And the same physical sets and the anima there's piranha plants and all these animatronics. It looks fantastic. People, team members, have already ridden the attraction because it's been done in testing for a while. It's not, sorry, it's not completely done. It's like some, some minor touch-ups, but it's rideable, right? Team members have been riding the attraction during a test and adjust phase as early as just over the summertime. And during the summertime, a couple of friends of mine, their team members, rode it like 12, 16, 20 times in a row. They really liked it. Um, so that gives me high hopes for this attraction because I think it'll look ab look and be absolutely fantastic, super fun. A lot of people are very excited for it every time I film the updates. People walking through are like, oh my gosh, it's Super Mario. Oh my gosh, it's Mario Kart. So I'm very excited for that. And all in all, I can't make a decision which I'm more excited for because I'm very excited for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. But I'm also very excited for Mario Kart. Mario Kart, by the way, it does have a height requirement. But, um, so, not everyone will be able to ride it. Unlike Mickey Minis, where everyone, literally anyone, will be able to ride that. Again, babies to grandmas. Babies won't be able to ride Mario Kart. But, nevertheless, I'm still very excited for both of these attractions. Which one do you guys think will be the better one. Which one is more on your most anticipated list? Let me know in the comments below and let me know your reason why. And let's start a friendly discussion about which one's better, which one could be better, which one's not better, and the reasons why in the comments below. And definitely share the video so your friends on social media or your friends on your contact phone, contact list can chime in on the discussion as well. If you, again, want some Super Nintendo World updates here in Hollywood and Orlando, Subscribe to the channel below and please, yeah, like this video. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button and subscribe for even more Theme Park Universal and Super Nintendo World updates.